So I posted a video asking Disney to put the Disney Channel games on Disney Plus, and just a few months later they announced that they are? Am I? Do I have superpowers? If I just make a video about something, can I speak it into existence? Hey strugglers, I want to win a bunch of money. Remember the show Punked? It was Ashton Kutcher, he'd give secret orders to celebrities or undercover actors and prank other famous people. Classic early 2000s MTV. The show was a smash hit, very successful, very popular. Uh, and then in 2011, Disney Channel said, let's do that, but with Mitchell Musso. Look at the look, at the look on your face. Who would have thought we'd be making your day? You'll never know until we give it away. Look at the look, at the look, at the look on your face. Oh, sick. Prank stars. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hey, I'm Mitchell Musso, and I'm in front of my mobile command center. But you can't get real fro yo here because all we're serving up is pranks. We're less than 10 seconds in, and I'm already in love with this. No fro yo here, we're just serving up pranks. Chilled treats? <laughs> More like chilling out and pranking fools. Tasty dessert? How about we deserve our expectations for a frozen snack? Because it's prank time. Also, is it just me, or was Mitchell Musso always just like a little bit cooler than you thought he deserved to be? Hey, I'm Mitchell Musso, and I'm in front of my mobile command center. He had no business being this fly. This is Mary. She is a huge Selena Gomez fan. My sister loves to dress like Selena every single day. She even cuts out pictures of Selena and she keeps them in that little secret drawer of hers. Yeah, Mary's a pretty big Selena Gomez fan. She listens to all her music, built a sacrificial shrine in her closet, buys her perfume. So please, Mitchell, out of all fans, she is Selena's number one. You have to prank her. So, you know, they picked a Selena Gomez super fan and they're gonna play a little prank on her. Just a little goof, have a few laughs. Uh, I'll let Mitchell explain it here. We hired a crew to turn this stage into a set for a fake bubblegum commercial. We are going to pair up Mary with the disguised Selena, and they are going to become BFFs in a prank that we call something to chew on. Okay, yeah, solid prank idea. It's a, it's a classic. You get a celebrity, you get a super fan, and you have them interact unbeknownst to the fan. Some secrecy going on, it's fun. It's like a, it, I feel like that's a staple on the Ellen show, you know? Uh, I do genuinely hope they use a better disguise than just this hat and glasses combo that they're showing in the graphic here. A super fan might see through the Clark Kent disguise. Uh. <laughs> All right, so Kira's playing our cast and director. Kira and Selena are both wearing earpieces. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! They actually used the hat and glasses technique. <laughs> I can't believe that. What's your name again? Natalie. Natalie. Why don't you guys pair up and then you guys are good to go. I as, am okay. Natalie. She doesn't even know that Selena's she's, standing she's, right next to no, her. She's, she's busy. clueless. Okay, I'll give them that. Maybe Mary is really nervous to be here. She's super focused on the task at hand, so she didn't notice her literal idol standing next to her. I, maybe. It's possible. And I think maybe as long as they don't draw too much attention to Selena during this prank, she might fly right under the radar because of that, because of other distractions. So I'm on board. Okay, this is fun. We're having a good time. This is gonna be a radical prank. Let's let's see what happens. You guys have to be BFFs for this commercial. So I want you guys to go off and get to know each other, tell each other everything. Don't draw too much attention to Selena. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. There's no way <laughs> this holds up. There's no way. So, um, do I have a color? I'm um, pink. Green. Maybe I'm weird or whatever and I'm good at recognizing faces, but I feel like I could meet somebody one time for like three seconds. And if I saw them then in another situation, I'd be like, hey, you're that, aren't you that person that I saw that one time? I think it might be even a little more obvious if it was Selena Gomez. <laughs> but I know some people aren't good with faces. And like I said, she might be super nervous and focused. So I, I'm judging too soon once again. Let's just let it play out and see what happens. I'm getting ahead of myself. Green? Okay, um, what's your favorite flavor? Apple. Apple, I like cherry. I love cherry too. Really? Mm. Favorite flavor of what? Just like in general? <laughs> it's a pretty vague question. My favorite flavor, by the way, is sweet Thai chili, just in case you're wondering. Hey doofus, they're obviously talking about their favorite bubblegum flavor. They're shooting a literal bubblegum commercial, dude. They're probably talking about their favorite flavor of bubblegum, I know. I know, guys. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that I like sweet Thai chili. Okay, can we move on? It's going good. Do you dance? No, I'm not the best dancer or singer. <laughs> Neither am I. It's so bad. You kind of look like Amy Adams. I don't know, who do you think I look like? Are they trying to blow this? Who do I look like? 
You're supposed to be undercover, Miss Gomez. Maybe don't ask the person to study your face. It's like if I was gonna prank somebody by dumping a bucket of water on their head, and then I was like, you don't think I'm gonna dump a bucket of water on your head, do you? That'd be weird, right? You don't think I'd do that, do you? I don't know, who do you think I look like? Kind of like Selena Gomez, kind of? Yeah, pack it up, Mitchell. All right, cat's out of the bag. Nah, it was fun while it lasted. No recovering from that one, though, right? She doesn't even know what to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, Selena, say something. You're gonna blow it. Selena Gomez is so pretty. I'm sorry? Selena Gomez is so pretty. You could have said almost anything and it would have sounded less conceited than that. Hey, you kind of look like Scott Kramer. Scott Kramer's so hot. He, what? Comically large Johnson too. We gotta learn the BFF bubblegum jingle. Here's how it goes, repeat after me. BFF bubblegum, friends forever. It's the only gum I chew because my best friend does too. Peer pressure bubble gum, I'm scared to be different. It's the only gum I chew, I'm very brand loyal. What's happening? What's, is it your first day? But I'm trying my best. You're making us nervous. <gasps> Listen, this is Hollywood. This is how it works. Mary agrees with me. Um, I just thought kind of you were being a little too harsh to her. I just thought you were being too hard on Selena. Ah, uh, Natalie, this girl who I definitely do not recognize and is not my favorite person on the planet. I'm, I'm totally still falling for this prank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do the bubbles, okay, and the singing and the dancing all at once. Okay, Selena, if you can hear me, I need you to touch your hat. Damn, Mitchell, kind of seductive, huh? Selena, babe, it's me, Mitchell, host of Disney Channel's Prank Stars. Hey, you want to get out of here? Okay, Selena, this time when you do the dance, I want you to fall down and totally wipe out. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy, I bet this is gonna be really believable. Red left bubblegum, friends forever. Bubbling bubbles. Oh, sorry. And the award for most realistic pantomime goes to falling over in a bubblegum costume. All right, so we're going with the prank reveal right now, right? So we had Selena leave to go take off her costume and look like Selena again. Oh, finally, she'll look like Selena again. I mean, this has been some Mrs. Doubtfire level trickery here. It's time to come clean, guys. So Selena basically just comes back out and they're like, it was Selena the whole time. And also Mitchell Musso is here. <laughs> what was the craziest part of this whole experience? Probably the part where you guys thought a literal Selena Gomez Stan wouldn't see right through this disguise. I know I'm harping on that a lot, but holy smokes, guys. <laughs> Unless this is all just mega fake, which judging by those TTIs that I talked about a few months ago, you never know. But just like, how, how did this disguise actually work? Um, I had a friend coming over. They're outside, so I'm gonna let them in though. Okay. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run to the bathroom quick, but but my wife is upstairs, you can go say hi. I don't think you guys have met. Hi. What's up? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, what's your name? <laughs> I didn't want you to go along with it. What? What do you want me to do? I was hoping that you would just be like, what are you doing? <laughs> or something like that. Obviously, who, wait, do you know who I am, by the way? It's who? Who? Scott. Oh, okay, so it didn't work. Did the glasses and hat fool you at all? Did you think maybe I was someone else? It was a little different. Yeah? So you believed it. Maybe it wasn't as bad of a disguise as, they, as I thought it was. All right. <laughs> Who's next? Mitchell, you need to prank my daughter on Prank Stars. She is the biggest Debbie Ryan fan that there is. Albany is such a fan, she has to look like Debbie all the time. If Debbie wears her hair a certain way, then Albany she has gotta wear her hair a certain way. Yeah, but does she have a perfect one-to-one -one replica of Debbie's head tucked away under her bed? I didn't think so. Fake fan. Are you looking for something specific? Yeah, something with a bright color. <laughs> oh, Debbie, sweetie, sit down, sit down, sit down. It's Debbie Ryan. Oh, do you know Debbie? Yes, I've seen her on TV. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, Debbie is pretending to be sick. Wow, I bet this is gonna be really believable. Am I hot? Can you just feel my head? A little warm. Okay, let me get you some tea. It's no, no, shh. Does anyone else find it really cute? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's... Oh. Are you a fan? Yeah, I love her. Are you serious? Yeah. 
Okay, okay. All right, Debbie, scale it back a little bit. My fashion show's starting in 15 minutes and I don't know what to do because I feel too sick to model. And this is like my... <coughs> Okay, no shade to Debbie Ryan. She's a queen and she deserves the world, but gosh darn it, I wish I could have landed a role on Disney Channel when I was younger. There are no acting skills required. I want you to tell Albany that she has to take over to be the model today. I'm, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have fun. Good luck, you look amazing. <coughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, guys, I'm sick. Oh, I'm really sick. You know what, I think, I really do, I think I'm too sick. I think I'm too sick to finish this video. Excuse me, could you do that again? Um, yeah. <coughs> oh, I'm a sick boy. Oh my god, kid, you've got the spark. I do? I'm sure of it. Name's Gary Marsh, president of Disney Channel Worldwide. Wow. Can you cry on command? Not even a little bit. Well, let's see it. <coughs> my god, that's terrible. You're perfect. Welcome to the Disney Channel, kid! Am I gonna be a star, Gary? Well, either that or this will completely ruin your life. Feels like it's about a 50-50 shot at this point. <laughs> I'll take those odds. Three, two, one, fashion! Oh my gosh, yeah, look right. at Albany! She she is so cute. beautiful! Right. Look at her! You look amazing! Albany looks beautiful in this pink dress. Now let's see how fast we can mess that up. Let me see. I really like the layered look. This is Debbie's new thing. Shields and swords. But you, my friend, need a cape. Are you kidding me? The shield? And the cape? Mitchell, you read my mind. This is a fashion disaster. I could excuse the double beret cowboy hat combo, but the cape is where I draw the line, mister. I'm no fashion expert, except when it comes to merch. But I thought it was funny that they started with an outfit that they thought was cool and then added stuff to make it look more silly. But the outfit that they started with was like a prom dress, tiny jacket combo. <laughs> Am I crazy? This isn't a good look, right? It looks really goofy to me too, but this was their good outfit. I mean, maybe I don't know anything about fashion. Maybe, Jane in. What do you think of that outfit? Are we talking about the girl in pink? Yeah. She looks good in that dress. She's rocking it. But it, yeah, I hate that jacket. It's a no for me, dog. Yeah, it's weird, right? That concludes Jaden's fashion corner. Thanks, Jaden. Like, I think you look better in this than Debbie. Did you just say that? I did just say that. <sighs> Models! Models! Ugh. Okay, so now Debbie Ryan is drunk, apparently. They end up having Albany do some goofy runway stuff, uh, and then they do the reveal, and yeah, again, it's just like, okay, this is a prank? That's fun. Okay, right on. I mean, how else are you supposed to react to being pranked? Go on MTV and tattoo a toilet on your girlfriend? <laughs> That would never happen. <laughs> what, is, what is this? All right, who's next? Welcome back. This is Luke. Now he's 15, and guess who his favorite star is? Me. Mitchell, how you doing? My son Luke is one of your biggest fans. He grew up watching you on the Disney Channel. Listen up, and I'll tell you about me. I had surgery on my wrist and knee. Am I going too fast, or are you with me? Actually, bro, yeah, you're going like way too fast. Am I going too fast or are you with me? I'm sorry, is that Buster Rhymes or Luke from Disney Channel's Prank Stars? Cause I can't tell the difference. Luke is always pranking his mom, his little brother and me. That's right, big bro. This time we're pranking you. Frankly, we're beyond fed up with all of your antics, you little sh We're gonna cut your brake lines and poison your cocoa puffs. Are we at the right house? Luke's parents set him up and are bringing him to lunch where I will just happen to show up. I also have a phony reporter coming to do an interview for a magazine about best friends, but my best buddy can't make it. If he's my biggest fan, let's see how long it takes for him to recognize me. <laughs> He'll never recognize him. He's wearing glasses. Hey dad, I think that's Mr. Musa. Damn, this kid's good. Would you mind if I borrowed him for like 15 minutes to do this interview? If my friend doesn't show up, it's gonna make me look real bad. It's a, yeah. kind of like a best friend's interview kind sure. of thing. Yeah. Is that cool? Are you down with that? Yeah. That'd be cool. Let's see how far we can push it. Do you rap? A little bit, yeah. Does Luke rap? Does John Taffer shut it down? That's 
this interview with my boy Mitch. He's gonna get the cover, so we need a good pitch. I got this interview coming up with the guy. I don't know, but I'm smelling that piece of... Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, uh, yeah. Get me Slim Shady on the line. I think he's in trouble. I will take one of everything. <coughs> Two of everything. You know what, why not? Since we're ballers, we're gonna pay for everybody. Checks on me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel me, you know what I'm saying? That's we don't have a best friend here, Jake. Oh, that's right. This is bad. Sorry. Like this. That. Blow it, the explosion? I don't know, the I have explosion. no idea. I don't usually, I don't do handshakes. <laughs> Bang, boom, hit, schmack, and then Whoa, ew, what the f***? What? I'm sorry. Dude. <laughs> Uncool. Please, bro, I'm... Dude, I f***ed up. I'm sorry, Mitchell. Gotta be prepared, you know what I mean? Dude, reporters here. Game on. Hey, how Hello. you doing? How's how you doing? doing? Hi, good to Pleasure see you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, very good to meet good you. Good to finally get together with yeah, you. Yeah, right? Hi. Hi. He's my best friend. Yeah. So, um, first of all, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Luke. Luke? I thought your best friend's name was Steve. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure his friend's name was supposed to be Sean. <laughs> Sean is my fake best friend who was supposed to show up at the interview. Ugh, Sean should have been here a long time ago. This is my buddy Sean's table. I thought your best friend's name was Steve. Was mm -hmm. it? Yeah, Luke, Steve, Luke, Steve. Luke, Steve. Luke, well, I mean, my real name's Steve. Everyone calls me Steve, but my yeah. real name's Luke. I didn't know if you wanted my real name or my whatever. Oh. Calls me. I wasn't, I, I didn't know. I thought you were, the way my money is set up is I got a checking and a savings and all the money's in my savings. I can see y'all definitely best buds. You know, one thing I did want to get though is I wanted to get a photo so I could get the cover of the magazine. So when I get a, maybe a little gun show action right here. Yep, this is for the cover of a magazine. Want to make sure I get a good magazine cover photo. Uh, let me just grab my Ashton Kutcher Nikon Coolpix camera. Put me on the cover. You know what we're saying, right? No, sir. No, sir. I know what you said. I know what you said. I gotta call a manager really quick. Right, wait a second. Okay. So if you could just go ahead and take care of that, that'd be great. $1,763. Uh, can I be honest with you? Please do. <laughs> I don't even know Mitchell. This is the first time I met him in my life. What? Yeah. You guys are definitely best friends. I mean, you told me yourself. God, oh boy, wouldn't that be nice? I am actually 21 years old, officer, and you can believe me, and you know it's true, because I told you. You know what, you got me there. He did tell me, he told me that. Well, what is that card? What is this? <laughs> You've been pranked by a star on Disney Channel's Prank Stars. <laughs> Another classic prank. Oh, hey, hottest albums of 2011. Turtleneck and Chain, obviously. So anyway, Strugglers, that's Prank Stars. Well, it's episode one, at least. They made a few more episodes, but they ended up canceling the show because <laughs> Mitchell got arrested. <laughs> Disney kids are wild, man. And it's, I'm not laughing at the fact that he got arrested. It's just, I don't know. I don't know why I left. I hope he's doing well now. I hope they're all doing well. It's a fun little show. I, I Like I said, it's like punked, um, but just the Disney Channel version, they tamed it way down made it more accessible for children, which is totally fine. Like, you know, especially if you're the type of kid who wasn't allowed to watch MTV. Not me, of course, not me, no. <laughs> no, I, dude, I totally watched MTV, like all the time. Jack Butt was like my favorite show. Shut up, I totally saw it. I watched MTV like every day. My parents definitely let me do that. Anywho, <laughs> thanks so much for watching and subscribing and liking and all that jazz. Coming soon, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're never gonna believe this, but I unironically have TikTok now. <laughs> Clout chasing verifieds are already jacking my flow, so I feel right at home. <laughs> anyway, an extra thank you to my patrons. Those that are listed here are in the top tier. And guys, I would only pull the most wholesome of pranks on you. I would never deceive you in any way. I would like swap out your shampoo bottle with mayonnaise or something. Unless you're allergic to mayonnaise, in which case that'd be a very dangerous prank. All right, I think that's all I got for you this time. <laughs> again, thank you for watching. I will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.